Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me on my official YouTube channel. Here I have the liberty of explaining all the concepts in much detail and if you have any questions you can always reach out to me either on TikTok or YouTube or my Instagram. I will be using Microsoft Office 365. So let's look at this file. This is the Microsoft Excel file. You have a record of every month that you can get from any database and that record is in raw format. So let's look at this. It has serial number, uh, it has verified, non-verified column, it has status of the loans, uh, length of uh, employment, the level of uh, finance you have, the purpose of this loan, the state that you're in, the length of the loan, the status of ownership for the house that you are having, either you're owning it or you're renting it, the interest that you're paying on it, the amount that you have borrowed, the installment that you pay every month, your annual income in dollars, last payment amount that you made, and the net payment that you have done so far. So when you get this kind of data, what do you do with it? If you get this data, first of all, you have to make sure that all this data is in, in proper format. So whatever function that you perform on this Excel spreadsheet and you record a macro, that macro you can use in order to do your repetitive task for the future. So you go to your file option in order to activate the developer option. You go to file and then you go to options. A new window will appear of Excel options. So what you need to do is you need to go to customize ribbon right here. And in customize ribbons, you will see the developer option unchecked. All you need to do is check it. And if this developer option is not available in this main tab window, you can bring it from this window, hit add, and it will come right here. And then you click OK. So you go to developer options and you hit record macro. Okay, so you can give this macro a name. Make sure that you always record a name with an underscore. So I'm going to record this name as loan underscore report and give a description so that you remember in the future what this macro is all about. Hit OK. Now, whatever actions you perform on this macro will be recording in terms of coding behind the scene, uh, visual basic coding. So first of all, what I need to do is whenever I get this report, I want to have a correct format of it. So I will go down here and select a format that I like. So I'm going to select Arial. So all of them is in Arial. The second thing I want to do is I want to make sure that all this amount is in dollars. So I select all this amount and hit dollar amount. So everything is converted into dollars. Then I want to give formatting to the headings. So I, I select all the headings and I say I want to have it in blue color uh, and the text should be in black color. And I also want to make sure that this is all in bold. And then uh, I, want, I don't want to have any borders around it. So I go here and select no border. Uh, and then I want to make sure that all this sheet is having uh, a theme color of white. And I only want to give border to this. I come right here and I give all borders. So this is all uh, getting recorded in macros. So the next thing that you want to do is uh, you want to make sure that uh, this all these columns are in in proper spacing. So you select any of it and double click it. It will all be in proper spacing. So next, I'm going to create a new column. It's called as debt to income column. So I will add debt to income. And in that column, I'm going to divide your debt, which is monthly debt, divide that by annual income, 60,000, which is per year. So I'm going to divide that in months. You So you have to divide that by 12. And you have to put the brackets around it. So once you put the brackets, it's going to give you this debt to income ratio. This should be a percentage. So you have to change the dollar amount when you double click on it. This is all changed. And if you want to put it in percentage, you come right here and select percentage. So it gives you debt to income ratio. So this is automatic calculations. You can do any calculation that you want, and this will be recorded in a macro. Now, let's go ahead and change the status of this loan of delinquent to charge off. 
So in order to do that, hit Control F on your keyboard. You just come here and replace. Find what? Just type in delinquent. And replace with charge all. And you find all. You find two of them. Since I'm only showing 10 rows, you can have thousands of rows and thousands of columns. So just hit replace all and it has replaced everything. And this is recorded in a macro as well. Now let's apply some conditional formatting. So the status of the loan, if it is charged off, I want to give it a red color. So you need to highlight the whole sheet and then go to conditional formatting, select highlight cell row equals to, and right here, just type in charged off and you want to give it a red color. So you hit select and hit okay all charge off selected now the next thing that i want to do is i want to make sure that all this formatting that i have done is all saved in the macros so you can perform as many macros as you want you can apply 50 changes 100 changes depends on the kind of repetitive task that you do on monthly basis so for the sake of showing this macros as an example i have just made few changes and now i want to see if all these changes are recorded into the macros or not so i go to developer tab again and hit stop recording so it's already stopped recording and now I can click on macros to see if it is recorded so loan report is recorded it's right there now I want to see if this macro that I've recorded if it is going to work for another sheet that I have so I come to the February sheet and see the all the, the columns and all the rows are in its pure form that's raw format and I want to make sure that the macro that I recorded for January works for February to see if my macros are working for another sheet I come to that another sheet and then I hit macros and I just select the macro that I've already recorded and hit run see the macro did everything what you did in the previous sheet that macro is already recording your instance for the new sheets that's how you can take care of your repetitive task. It could be either 50 tasks or 100 tasks, depends on the kind of work that you're performing. There's one more giveaway in this tutorial that I want to show you. So all the macros that you have recorded, you want to make sure that these macros are saved in your system so you can use these macros for future use. And you want to see what are the changes that you've done. So what you can do is you can come down here to macros and see the one that you've already recorded. You can just, you can just go to edit tab and uh, let me bring it on the top so this is the macros that you have already done uh, this shows the macro name uh, and and the sheet that you did this on so in this first uh, coding you can see what you have done it sa says that the cells that you have selected uh, you have given a size of it you've given the name of Arial. so in order to have it for your own uh, understanding for future you can put comments on it. So in order to put the comments, just type in uh, format cells and giving it a font. So you see that it has already turned green. This is not part of the coding. It's just a comment that you can reference for future use. Similarly, if you come down and see that you also change currencies for your four to five column that I already selected, you change the currency from just a number to dollar amount. So you can write your comments on it by typing in change the currency. And that's it. So when, when you record that comment, it's already there. What you need to do is just close it now and you want to save this file, save macros. It's going to say the following features cannot be saved in macro free workspace. So what you need to do is you need to save this file. Instead of Excel workbook, you have to select Excel macro enable workbook and hit save. And that's it. Your macros is recorded. Please like and follow and also let me know in the comments if you have any questions regarding macros. Have a great day.